whoops, looks like we got caught off last time. So I'm picking up where we left off and we're almost done. I just have a couple of slides left. So this video will not be as long as the last one. So we were talking about subordination and we were talking about this sentence. When the window shade snapped up like a gunshot, her cat leaped four feet off the floor. And we were saying that the way that this sentence is written, the second part of the sentence starting with her cat leaped four feet off the floor is the more important part of the sentence. It is the more important idea. Um, so what we've done is we've taken this other idea and we've subordinated it. We've done that by making by adding a subordinating uh, word um, at the beginning of the sentence and then attaching it to the main sentence with a comma. So this is now the subordinating clause. It's not as important as the main sentence. Same here, because it rained all week, parts of the highway were flooded. Parts of the highway were flooded is the more important part of the sentence. So we've taken it rained all week and we've subordinated it with the word because. Because it rained all week, comma, parts of the highway were flooded. Same example here. Although my grades are very good this year, comma, my social life rates only a C. There's that same sentence. But here's just another way that you could rewrite it. So that the idea that the grades are good is not quite as important as the fact that the social life rates only a C. Okay. So when we subordinate, we use dependent words like when, because, and although to turn the sentences into subordinate sentences. So if you want to make one of your two sentences a subordinate sentence, you can use one of these words or phrases. You put this at the beginning, stick a comma after it, and then attach the more important sentence of the two, like we saw back on this slide. Okay. So for so here are some examples that you could go through on your own. Um, the impatient driver tried to get a jump on the green light. He kept edging his car into the intersection. Um, in looking at these sentences, all of them are fused sentences. They're missing any kind of punctuation whatsoever. So you could have um, you could try your hand in a couple different ways. Of, you could actually try all four of the different ways of um, correcting the run-on sentence. All right, so that's it for notes on run-on sentences. Thank you for listening. Hope you, Hopefully you've been following along and filling out your note sheet. You can use this video and these notes to help you with the assigned worksheet on run-on sentences as well. Thank you.